on this next one I have a chart here that shows how to identify the uh, intervals that are being played um, um, it goes by a lot of thinking but in everyday life you you actually do hear a lot of the intervals I mean like especially in music that you really don't know but right now I will demonstrate what I'm talking about like like if you ever see like right now I have it in the key of C for the scales that I in question now the key note before we start I'll uh, let me go ahead and get this out of the way real quick the best way to I identify an interval first is basically looking at its key signature before you ever go into a piece of music or anything like that the first thing you analyze is the key signature it was repetition that my um, music instructors always taught me first the first thing you're supposed to do when you're starting to analyze written music and trying to identify intervals or chords yes exactly you just want to make sure you identify your key signature and you want to make sure what clef you're in because you don't want to be writing the wrong note on the line <clears throat> so basically understanding that I am in this key of C major it is in treble clef in C major there's no sharps or flats so I don't see no key signatures or sharps or flats at the beginning of the uh, music so let's go ahead and get this started um, basically from C to D flat is basically Jaws I always had it memorized like Jaws from the movie Jaws da 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 and that's a minor second because it's a half step da da also I forgot as well if you're in the key of C major C is your tonic note always look for your tonic note as well if there's no sharps or flats provided but if you see any accidentals then it's a good possibility that it could be in a different key so just keep always be on the lookout for sharps or flats every time when you're trying to analyze music but for now I know for a fact I'm in the key of C because C is my tonic note and basically you go by your tonic note when you're doing intervals <laughs> when you're identifying them yeah in that key so major minor second is Jaws major second is happy birthday minor third I don't really have anything for a minor third but I think anyone can find a way to get a minor third song in there the major third reminded me of a campfire song campfire kumbaya 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 yeah and then the perfect fourth um, interval reminds me of amazing grace or any type of religious hymn they always have a one to four interval or they end in a four to one I always call it amen because they always amen it's pretty pretty um standard for most religious music um perfect fifth if you're a big John Williams fan 
if you ever heard of John Williams, you probably have because if you listen to Star Wars so many times or basically um, any type of Steven Spielberg movie like Indiana Jones he always does this in perfect fits da 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 <clears throat> da da and then you got minor six and if you ever um which is basically <laughs> all the way up to A flat and then you have a major six major six this one reminded me of NBC da 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 NBC NBC National Broadcasting Company if you ever heard that on NBC minor seventh and then there's a major seventh It gives you an idea, but I'm going to go ahead and draw in a clip on that and let y'all listen to what they sound like really quick, and then I'll jump right back in. But now you get the idea of what they sound like. So it's pretty interesting what a minor second and a major second in a major scale sounds like. It, it's going to be like that in all the major scales that you hear. It's just that you want to make sure that you have the right kick signature and you're using the right clef when you're writing down the music. You just always remember to, to look for your tonic note. And then you find out what interval you want to play. It's usually in exercises. They usually say, give me a perfect fourth in C major. Or give me a perfect fifth in B flat major. Or give me a, a minor seventh in the key of D flat major. You know, it's, you just want to make sure you know your tonics notes. Um, also, I mean, and then... In this little chart here, I also threw in a couple of extras. Like, you also want to remember what tritone is, which is an augmented fourth. And basically, an augmented fourth or a diminished fifth. That's basically what a tritone is. 